What is up guys, Johnny here, I'm back with more Shadow Gun Legends. In today's video, we're gonna compare two snipers, the OG Moneymaker Legendary Sniper with the best and skiller, the best epic sniper in the game. The best and skiller is the best epic sniper in the game, even though it seems like it's got lower damage. It's got 1066 as base damage. If you compare to the uh, AT Mandel, it's got 1131. And even the Z Scott 2 has got 1107, which is more than the Besson. Why is Besson so good? It's because of the perks. The Besson Skiller has got a 10% extra damage on the last perk, and it's got 15 crit damage. Uh, the other snipers got 10. You can also get 12, but 15% crit damage is the highest on the perks on these uh, epic snipers. When I got my OG Moneymaker last week, if you just look real quick at the base stat, it seems like it's got way lower damage at 844, plus it doesn't seem to have all the high damage perks. It doesn't have crit damage, it doesn't have extra base damage. All it has is a 4% iron sight damage, but it's got a much higher fire rate. So in today's video, we're gonna compare two clips. The two clips are in a stationary boss fight, and we are going to look at what sniper can deal the most damage in the 10 second window when you activate the supercharger active skill the whole point is trying to maximize your damage output in that 10 second time frame so this is the og money maker you will see that in the 10 second duration is gonna shoot 10 bullets seven before the reload three after each crit damage will deal 3029 damage total now this is the best and killer you will see the best and killer can shoot nine bullets but each bullet will deal much more damage, 4505 per crit and again 7 before the reload and only 2 after the reload. Okay, so let's just do the maths, it's not so complicated. I said uh, 9 bullets on the Besson uh, times 4505 for each crit. Let's say you crit each time on the stationary boss, which is not impossible at all. It's 40,000 damage, 4545, okay? Now the OG Moneymaker, it had 10 shots on the 10 second time frame and it dealt 30, 3029 for each shot. That's 30,000 damage. It's like 10,000 uh, less. It's almost a 25% uh, less damage in 10 seconds, right? So it is huge. But when I recorded that clip, I didn't have all the perks unlocked. So I said, wait a minute. It seems like a pretty big difference, but... I did not have the 4% iron sight damage at that time, so I say if we can squeeze 4% extra damage on each of the 10 bullets, it could reduce the difference a little bit, but again, look at the last perks. You have extra reload speed, you have extra fire rate also, 8% fire rate, 8% reload speed, and you also have a 5% magazine cap, so you shoot faster, uh, you deal a bit more damage while aiming down sight, so maybe it's not gonna be that big of a difference after all, especially if you can squeeze one more shot in the 10 seconds, right? Now here comes the bad news, guys. This clip right here was uh, taken on my last stream. Now a couple of perks are unlocked, especially the 4% iron sight damage. As you can see, 30-29 while scoping and 30-29 without scoping. So the 4% iron sight damage is not working, okay? It doesn't make a difference, it's the exact same damage. Another thing I want you guys to notice is when I reload, 7 bullets in the clip, uh, even before I reload because I only had 7, but when I started the fight, you can rewind if you want to watch, the 5% extra magazine size does not work, okay? So 2 dead perks out of 8 on that legendary sniper. Now that was very specific, the reality is you're not always fighting a stationary boss. You, if you're doing arena, uh, you're gonna be running around and shooting some bullets. Not all the hit will be crits, right? Uh, also, you have to know the OG Money Maker can carry 7 more bullets than the Besson Killer. So 28 to 35 or something like that, or 27 to 34. But still, if all the hits are no crit and you shoot all your bullets, 
the best in skiller is still going to deal more damage total uh compared to the og money maker so you gotta see the positive note uh to all the guys that still say this game's pay to win because you can buy legendaries in the boxes at pedro's so it is pay to win the fact is the epic sniper is better than the legendary sniper here uh, i know some guys will argue again because the true patriot is an exception but again i'm thinking they will rotate and you'll be able to drop the true patriot anyways in a dungeon or in pvp later so your argument is invalid sorry guys this game's not paid away this is my opinion by the way that will be it for today's video i really hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did make sure to hit the like subscribe to the channel turn on your notifications Watch my other videos. I'll be back soon. Take care.